Hello my Capricorns. This is your mid-month for the 15th through the 31st. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Okay. If you're interested in a personal reading, um, that information is down below the video. Okay. I'm going to start with a Celtic cross spread. Let's see where you guys are at currently. What is the energy around my Capricorns? We have strength here. What is challenging you is temperance. What is your issue currently is death. Oh, okay. What was happening in the past? We have two cards there we'll look at. Let's see what is the best possible outcome here. We have the higher fit. Hmm. Okay. What's coming in for you guys is the Empress. How you see yourself. So lovers. A lot of majors here. Outside influence. Four of Wands. Your hopes. The Magician. Hmm. Your fear. Is the Eight of Cups and your overall outcome? Okay, is the Page of Cups. All right, let me shift some of this stuff down a little bit. Hmm. All right, so the energy that's around you guys is strength. Okay, let me put those like that. Um. I feel like there is something that you have been through that was very tough, um, very tough situation for you guys. I think there was a lot that you learned um, about somebody doing something sneaky with you. Oh, all these these cards are not in view, so I'm going to show them to you now. We have the Seven of Swords here. This is in the recent past. The Seven of Swords is here. And then the Six of Swords is here in the past. Okay, so I'm going to put them back down. Um, let's see if I can move these over some to get them in the view of the camera. Okay. So it's like this right here, guys. <clears throat> um, but there is something that you learned about this person or situation that um, you know this person probably was um, very sneaky you felt they did things that you feel like was intentionally done to hurt you they um, they tricked you even but you know you learned this you learned exactly what they were doing. You figured it out. If they were trying to get away with something, um, they got caught because I think that you know you you faced what was right in front of your eyes. I feel like you guys used your intuition to do so because this may not have been something that was um, in black and white for you, but there was something that you felt, I feel. Could have been an air sign that you were dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But your challenge is to now find harmony and balance within your life, okay? I think it is to forgive this person. I think it is to forgive yourself. Um, if you stayed in this longer than what you um, feel like you should have, okay? Now, how you're seeing yourself is the lovers here. And I think this is you choosing um, basically yourself over any given situation where somebody is being sneaky, um, being deceitful, being snide with you. Um, there's a lack of emotion towards you, not really, you know, giving a shit how you feel even. Um, I think you're choosing yourself, okay? That's first and foremost here. Gemini energy. But also, I get the sense that a lot of you guys have started over since this relationship. Now, I'm not sure if it's with the same person or whether this is someone new. 
okay but usually when the lover shows up it's it's for me it's like you have this really strong connection with someone um and maybe it's not somebody that you were with like during this lifetime maybe it was somebody else that um you have spent you know like soulmate energy we have several soulmates okay so but this is somebody that i feel like is familiar familiar to you okay now that's how you see yourself currently now what the issue is here is death i feel like um you know there was something that you really had to let go of and i think this involves the individual that um you feel like was being very conniving you know um i think that is something that has ended for you you had to put it to bed you know even if you this person physically walked away from you you had to decide in yourself that you know to let it go and i think that's what you've done i think that you've changed a whole lot there's a lot that you have changed about yourself because here in the best possible outcome is that you stand in your own truth um, you you know what it is that you believe you know what it is that you want in your life if you want commitment you're not going for anything less than that this is Taurus energy here okay so now we have Taurus Scorpio um, any air sign here Gemini energy um, Libra Aquarius also Leo is here okay so what's coming in for you is the Empress okay this is growth this is abundance this is what's coming towards you okay and this could just be like within you like you know what you're changing into what you're morphing into this could also be a person that is coming your way who embodies everything that you could want and need in a mate again Aries Libra Taurus energy here okay now your outside influence is stability is perfection I feel that somebody is looking at you as if you are the Empress and I think that is what you are that is who you are they see long term with you. They see stability with you. They see commitment with you. They see perfection with you. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys can live up to that, but somebody views you like you are the ish. Okay. Now, what your hopes are. is to be the magician to use everything within your power to you know make your life happy make everything run smoothly um if it's money that you are seeking or you know a financial a financial gain um you want to be able to go for that and attain it Okay, if it's love, you want to be able to go for that and attain it, so on and so forth. You want to make it happen. Okay. For me too, you know, this this is a counterpart to the Empress for me. Okay. For me. May not be for everybody, but for me. Um because this is almost like, and I don't want to sound let me clear this up before I even say it. Um I don't feel like women should be stay-at-home mothers, okay? I think she should be if she wants to be, if that's something that, you know, the both of you agree on, okay? And the man should go out and work. No, I don't feel like that, unless that is actually what works for you. But if you look at this card, these two cards together, specifically in this deck, and it's not like this in every deck, but you see the Empress you know is here with the the child nurturing the child keeping everything good at home until her husband or her man comes home who has been out working who has been out getting it okay so this is why i say that you know the magician is 
and the magician and the empress are mates for me okay because they are very like material beings that can make things happen so can the empress very fruitful very abundant very creative okay so I feel like whoever is coming in for you guys is going to be a mate for you okay your fear is the eight of cups I feel like you don't want to be a disappointment because again I'm telling you somebody is looking at you guys like you are perfect and you don't want to have to you know live up to that expectation of course you want to be the best you that you can be but um, you know we're nowhere near perfect even in our best with our best attributes so I feel like you don't want to you know somebody to be disappointed here whether it's you or the other person okay and let's see what your overall is your overall outcome is the page of cups hmm. I think that you will be able to um, this is somebody that loves you for one thing and I feel like you have very strong feelings for them as well but I think that um, you know you will be able to converse with this person um, and, and kind of let them know where you stand um, what type of relationship here that you know you would like um, what it is that you have to offer and you know they will tell you as well what they have to offer and I think things will will start off on a very um, slow steady pace here okay where nobody has these wild expectations of the other one alright guys so that is what I have for you my Capricorns and I will be speaking with you soon